Now I can turn to page 94, and this is uh, ECD exercise number 20. And um, the heart rate here is approximately 96. You'll notice that the rhythm is a little bit irregular, and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, there are no P waves, but what there are are flutter waves, these classic sawtooth patterned flutter waves, right? And again, the distance between the flutter waves is perfect for flutter waves. It's about uh, um, one, two, three, four, five, or six millimeters apart, which is perfect. It fits within the normal uh, flutter range. Remember, the flutter waves should not be less than four millimeters apart. If that was the case, you're probably looking at artifact. And um, uh, the PR interval is not applicable if we don't have clear P waves. The QRS is narrow. It's uh, less than 0 0.12 second. The ratio is variable. Remember I said uh, when you have this kind of rhythm with flutter waves, um, if the rhythm is variable it, it, or the ratio of flutter waves to QRSs is variable, it probably means that the patient is on some sort of medication that alters um, AV conduction, and that's why we have this variable ratio. The rhythm is irregular, and the interpretation quite simply is atrial flutter with a heart rate of approximately 96 with a variable conduction ratio.